Hi, Jen Cassell here. I'm back to show you a tutorial on how I created this adorable reindeer teapot. And guess what, guys? It lights up. I used the reed switch that's available at Chibi to create a really fun project that lights up with this little magnetized snowflake when you touch it to the teapot. Super cute, lots of fun, and surprisingly easy to do. I'll include the SVG file that I used from Creative Fabrica in the description box if you care to follow along. So much fun. This is a great SVG file, perfect for some Christmas in July action. It holds quite a bit. You've got some room in there. It measures about four inches in the hexagon shape and I would say eh, about another four inches tall too, excluding the uh, antlers. It was a lot of fun to put together and if you want to join me, follow along. So let's first go through the supplies that you're going to need to put this together. I've already pre-cut the SVG file, which is going to come with these two large pieces right here. You're also going to have the two top of the teapot pieces right here. This is your handle. I've actually cut this twice. So I've already glued it together twice. I cut the tabs off the second piece and I'm actually going to glue them together again. I just really wanted a really sturdy handle for this. This is the teapot spout. Once again, I wanted this super sturdy, so I've cut this twice, and then I cut the tab off this interior piece right here. I've cut the antlers twice, and I glued them back to back. I've already put together the two ear pieces, and then I've put together the nose, which is this red piece, and then I found the center after gluing them together and just poked a pokey tool through it. Also cut the eyes out. The eye I have switched out from the other SVG file. We'll also need four pieces of paper that I have cut two and three quarters by four and a quarter and then I folded them in half the long way. So you're going to score at two and an eighth and then just fold inward. I've done that four times. To make the reed switch and light, you're going to want some conducive tape. You could use copper tape for this, whatever you have on hand. Of course, you'll need a battery. I'm using this uh, red light right here, as well as your reed switch. I like using these patches to go in there and you'll also need a magnet. So I just have a little stack of magnets right here. These are just thin crafting magnets that I'm using and they work just fine for my project. I also like having this stencil on hand when I go to draw out my circle. So I'm working on just a firm piece of foam right now. And then I placed where I wanted my nose to go and then used the a hooky tool or a hole punch, whatever you have on hand to cut through that layer of uh, pink as well. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, and then I'm just going to glue this on, make sure everything is straight. Now I'm going to grab my eyes and I'm just using liquid glue for this. It works just fine. Do your best just to make sure those eyes line up. Start applying some glue to these tabs. Don't forget to hit this little small one right here as well. You don't need a whole lot of glue for this because it'll take a lot longer to dry. I've already gone through with a bone folder to really hit all of my score lines on this. Gives it a nice finished piece. Now I'm gonna grab my second one. Go ahead and add some glue. And glue those pieces together. This also creates a really nice sturdy base for you. And keep going along with these tabs. Now, before I glue my last tab, I'm going to come over and grab 
my teapot handle. Like I said, I've cut these twice and I'm just gonna glue them together because I wanted a really sturdy piece. Once I have them glued together, add some glue to your tab using textured paper. So I'm putting it on the textured side of the paper and I'm just gluing it to this piece. Once that's nice and dry, you can go ahead and add glue to your last two tabs. Once you have the glue down, pop those last two tabs together. At this point, I am going to grab two of my um, four and a quarter by two and three quarter inch pieces. And like I said, I've already scored at two and an eighth and folded it inward just use it to cover those tabs on the interior of your piece. This is also going to make your project a lot sturdier. I like to use my bone folder and really press down once again. You'll notice that I'm not going near the face on this. So to create our circuit, I'm gonna grab one of these rectangle pieces and I'm going to insert it in here right where I want it to lay, which is probably gonna be right about there. Grab my pencil and just, that hole is gonna be where my light goes. And I like to use this. I love this stencil. It gives me an idea of where everything needs to be. First, I'll grab my magnet. And trace where my magnet is. This ruler is where my fold is gonna go and then I'm gonna go ahead and retrace my magnet. I'm gonna place that fold. That is going to be my next fold line and this is where I'm going to place one of my patches and my reed is gonna follow right along this fold. So if my my reed is going right here my tape is going to have to follow along this i'm going to bring this up like that i'll follow this here i'm going to go down and up right there and that is going to be our circuit now let's grab our tape and start creating that path conducive tape works best without too many breaks so make sure that when you do your corners you're keeping everything together now the part that i'm placing my reed switch once you have your circuit completed now it's time to grab your light this is your negative this is your positive. I like to use just a little bit of double-sided tape for this. You won't need much. Just put a little on this side and a little on this side. Once you have your double-sided tape up, you can fold that battery over. I'm gonna fold it over and just kind of use my thumbnail to indent where I want it to go. Place your patch. Now you can take your reed, come over, grab your reed, place your magnet on top, and you're gonna just place the magnet or the reed switch in that little gap you created. Now you can grab some patches and just tape those reed switches down. Let's flip this over. Let's make sure that our reed switch is working. Once we know that our reed switch is working, we can go ahead and glue down. I'll just tape this part down at the top, just so it sits nicely inside it. 
And now I'm just going to glue this on the interior, right in that last section. All right, so once you have it in the right spot, let's test to make sure she works, which, yep, she does. We've got light, perfect. And I didn't even have to um, bring this right on top of that reed. I just brought it near it and it started glowing. So let's secure this last piece. I'm going to do hot glue with this. Okay. This just covers everything up. You can't even tell that there's a battery piece in there. Once again, perfect. Love it. Now we can add our spout. I am going to take the, the one piece of the spout that I've already cut the tab off and I'm going to glue it to this side where the tab is. Let's add glue to both sides of the tab. And I'm also going to add a little glue to the interior of this. And pinch together. Make sure everything is lining up. I'll add just a little bit more hot glue to just the bottom of this and find where I want my spout which is right about there. Teapot base is all put together. Let's set up my liquid glue. I'm gonna glue these two tabs together. So it forms one long continuous line. So you can start just folding them in like so. Um, in. I want that one, that last one to go in, and it's gonna start to dome out as soon as you do that. So come over with more glue and glue that last tab on the interior. Once I have my tabs where I want them to go, I'm going to use just a little bit of hot glue to catch these. All right, once we have this together, we're gonna get our antlers. The antlers are going to lie like this. You want to fold one tab backwards and the other tab forward for this. Remember, I've cut these twice so they're pretty sturdy. I'll add a little hot glue to both sides of my tab and insert it pretty close to the top. Do the exact same on the opposite side. Once the antlers are on, you're gonna do the exact same thing to the ears. I'm going to fold one backwards and one forwards and attach right in that same spot. All right, now that I have my ears and the antlers on, I wanna add this cute little bow that I just found in my stash. Oh, so cute, you guys. So, so, so cute. So now that we have our teapot put together, let's start making our magnetized reed switch. So I have cut out these two snowflake tags. Uh, this is a Cricut SVG file, and I've reversed them, just flipped them so that they're mirror images of one another. Double-sided tape. I'm gonna run that right down the center. All right, I've added some double-sided tape to the back of my snowflake. I am going to place my magnet right at the base here. Turning my attention to the other snowflake, go ahead and just add a little double-sided tape to this one as well. I'll add some glue. I like doing both. You get the inst instantaneous bond of the tape, but then you also have the staying power of the glue. And then once our snowflake is together, I'm just going to add a little festive ribbon to the mix. And now we have our reed switch magnet on off switch. Let's bring it over here and it works. 
and it works. So cute, right? I love this. So here's my finished product. I love how she turned out. It was so much fun creating that. I loved using the reed switch. It, this was a new product for me. So I was super glad to pull it out. And this is a relatively big box as well. So you'll be able to fit a whole bunch of goodies in here. You could add some tea bags, some honey sticks inside, do a cute little tea gift for your bestie at Christmas time. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more crafty content. We'll see you in the next crafty video. Bye.